Just one heat for the women. Eight runners scheduled to be on the oval, and uh, we'll see a couple who just finished the women's mile, Kate Mitchell and Julianne Staley, uh, in lane one. They're uh, going to out there and support our finishers with early pacing. And we're underway. Katrina Coogan also out there. Uh, Marianne Mijas. Chloe Forster from Washington. Scheduled to be on the Oval. And uh, Sophia Goriaron from Harvard. The former stellar middle distance runner from Rhode Island. Running for the Crimson now. She is in the lead as her teammate Mijas in the number two spot. As our two milers step aside, the field is down to four. So it is Goriaron out front. And in her freshman year at Harvard, can it come to the uh, line in 58 mid? Solid pace, and that is Helen Schlachtenhofen in the number two spot, and then Isabella Shepard in third. Goriaron with 300 to go, has about 12 meters on Schlachtenhofen. Both of these women, 201 half milers, Goriaron holding up strong, 129 high. Sophia getting encouragement from her coach inside. Turn one. Her dad's on the back straightaway. Sophia Goriaron gutting it out. She has led this from the gun. 150 on the clock. Sophia Goriaron. Can she go? Sub two. 156, 157, 158. 201 point by Sophia Goriaron with Schlachtenhofen coming up for second. Number 12 spot, a 9.44. The number one time in the country is 9.35.90 by the Ducks of Oregon, but uh, historically, high 9 teens or 9.20s is what it's going to take to make the national championships this year in Division I indoor track and field. So the DMR challenge, the uh, we are going to have a pace setter bring the field through. And out in front through 800 meters, I believe in 154. So the teams, Connecticut, Auburn, Georgetown, Boston College, New Mexico, Duke, Virginia Tech, BYU, and Stanford. Nine teams with our rabbit squad in uh, quotation marks, actually rabbit 800 meter runner on this 1200 going through 154. So 56 right there, right on pace to go 154 as the uh, Hoyas of Georgetown currently in the number two spot. And all eight teams that are gonna, excuse me, nine teams are gonna finish this out right there. They are running folks for a chance to participate in the NCAA D1 Championships. 125 through 600. Georgetown, Virginia Tech, BYU, one, two, three. Down the back straight. Our pace setter will step aside. Once again, the 935.90, the uh, Ducks of Oregon, the leader coming into this weekend. Go through 800 right there, 154 right on target. And the Hoyas of Georgetown. With Matthew Pams, Nicholas Givon, Tanata Matsatsa, and Abel Tefra. Scheduled to be on the baton tonight for Georgetown. And some separation between our 
top three, the middle five, and then also the number nine squad, Georgetown, Virginia Tech. Virginia Tech, that looks like that is Nick Plant, former Ohio standout at 800 meters, running the 12 tonight. And they'll also uh, bring along Judson Lincoln, Christian Jackson, and Ethan Coleman for the Hokies of Virginia Tech. They go through 1,200 and 250. And now the speedsters are on the oval, 400 meters. Virginia Tech, BYU, Georgetown, a distant third at this point, but lots of racing upcoming. This is a 4,000 meter race, and we're just 1,400 into the books right now, but Virginia Tech in front, BYU five meters back, and 20 plus back to Georgetown in third, and then Auburn in the number four spot, followed by Duke. Virginia Tech stretching it out just a little bit. They're 10 meters in front of BYU coming to the zone. A clean, good pass and make that about 12 meters. Virginia Tech, BYU, Georgetown, Stanford, Duke, Auburn, and New Mexico, UConn, and Boston College. Eight hundred meter leg in this distance medley relay. Virginia Tech, BYU, and Georgetown making a big push in the third. That is the freshman phenom Tanata Matsatsa running the half tonight. Two to go in this. 800 meter leg. Virginia Tech, then Georgetown, about 15 back. Virginia Tech has Christian Jackson on the stick. Medsatsa for Georgetown. BYU countering. With a uh, team of six to choose from, 454 with one lap to go. Virginia Tech digging. Christian Jackson, the sophomore, on the oval, stretching out over Mitsatsa, who definitely used a lot of his gas initially to close that gap, struggling now. It is Virginia Tech, 521. It's time for the mile anchor. They have about a four second gap over BYU. And Georgetown, Auburn, Duke, New Mexico, and Stanford. Stanford looks like Kai Robinson on the baton, anchoring their 1600 meter run. Virginia Tech at 5.55. So Virginia Tech's lead is just a handful of strides right now. BYU on the move. And they have pulled up on the shoulder of the Hokies. The BYU Cougars at Stone here in attendance tonight. The longtime coach at BYU. And the Cougars are in the lead with five to go. A thousand meters left, 653. Virginia Tech in second, Georgetown in third, Auburn on the move in fourth, and Duke in fifth. Ryan Auburn also 
The top five in the NCAA D1 this year, 935 Oregon, Virginia at 936. Florida State ran their 936 here. Four to go at 723. So a two minute final 800 will bring them home in a whopping new number one for division one this year. Uh, NC State also ran their 937. That was a week ago. And Texas at 941. So a big overhaul of the men's distance medley rankings are going to occur with the injection of the numbers from this race. BYU, Virginia Tech, Georgetown, and Auburn separated by about 20 to 25 meters. There will be two laps remaining when the BYU anchor hits the start finish line. Two to go at 8.22. They're still on 9.23 pace. Again, just blow out of the water. The current number one in the country. A number of other D, uh, DMR races occurring this weekend that also will affect these standings, but they came to Boston University to run fast on the track and tennis center, and they're doing it. Final lap, Virginia Tech not out of it yet. They're bound by about four meters. And the BYU anchor is hurting. Here comes Virginia Tech, fresher legs. Auburn also on the move back in third. You'll see them pop into the picture. There they are. It is Virginia Tech. They led the middle part of this race. BYU took the lead in the mile anchor early, but it's going to be the Hokies and then Georgetown and Auburn battling it out for second. Virginia Tech is going to go sub 925 for the win. Georgetown second, Auburn third, BYU and Stanford with a huge anchor. 922 71 for Virginia Tech. Georgetown 923, you see the numbers. Those folks are the new top performances in the distance medley relay this year in Division I. And we're underway. And it looks like we do have one scratch. Just nine squads out there on the oval. And coming through the opening 200, there's our rabbit team from uh, New Balance. Setting the pace. Penn State right there, Washington. The Huskies sitting in the number two position amongst the finishers. Again, that 10.46.62 run here a year ago by Washington is the collegiate D1 record. Opening 463 seconds. So the team that uh, they're in it for the long haul, Penn State, Washington, Providence, Stanford, BYU, Boston College, Virginia Tech, and North Carolina. Those eight, again, want to try to get one of those 12 spots in the national championship. Right now, 11, 10, 35. Richmond has the number 12 position. 600 in 137. They're definitely a quicker tempo coming on this opening 1,200 meter leg, at least through the midpoint, 600. Scheduled to go through in 211. Two eleven on the money, and trying to find a place to exit stage left. Our rabbit from the New Balance team. 
And she does that successfully. A year ago, Sophie O'Sullivan started with the 316 opener for the University of Washington. And the Huskies are in the lead, 244 with a lap to go. BYU trying to move up into the number two spot. Sneaks past Penn State on the inside. The Nittany Lions and Cougars are now trailing the Huskies by about eight meters. And Chloe Forster from Washington, and they're going to be up faster than their pace a year ago. They're in 314, 315 with BYU and Penn State in second and third, North Carolina in fourth, and Providence in the number five spot. But the attention on the Huskies of Washington. Here comes Penn State's quarter miler. Washington, then Penn State. Anna Terrell, a sophomore, scheduled to be on the number two leg for Washington. For Penn State, Zoe Goldstein. And a tight battle, one, two, three, Washington, Penn State, here comes BYU getting back into the conversation. Through the zone, the Cougars do a great job, and they take the lead over Washington as Boston College, some mishandled batons are gonna cost North Carolina some time, and they're all the way right now in the number seven position, way back, and uh, their 800 runner trying to make up some of that lost track position. As the top four, you see them on the screen. BYU, Washington, Penn State, and Boston College. All the teams registered with seed times under 11. It's the 800 meter runners on the oval currently. BYU, Washington. BYU, Washington, and now five teams in the mix. A huge push by Stanford. That is Roisin Willis. One of their multi-talented middle distance standouts with her focus being the 800, and she is doing a great job right now for the Cardinal. But a battle between Pac-12 teams, Washington, Stanford, and now BYU in the mix. Penn State and Boston College, what a battle up front. And it's going to be time to pass the baton for the final time this evening and in tonight's women's distance medley relay. Six thirteen for Washington. BYU about two and a half seconds back. Then Penn State. So again, the facility record, also the collegiate record, and Oklahoma State had just narrowly missed that in putting down the number one time in the country. So the Cowgirls, definitely confident of that performance, probably aren't running the DMR tonight. And the big gap is only our leading team from Washington in the picture. 7-15. 
So 62, the opening 400 for our mile anchor from Washington. Carly Thomas, she was part of the squad that set the record a year ago. As uh, special guest coming up the way to join us, it's going to be Grant Fisher. All right, uh, we are back. Women's distance medley relay again. Potential collegiate record on the line right now. The Washington Huskies out in front. Uh, joined now by Grant Fisher, moving up a spot number five all time in the indoor 5,000 meters. Grant, thanks for coming up. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, good to be here. We got an exciting race on the track, so my eyes are down there too. Um, when was the last time you ran a DMR? Oh, college, man. Yeah, yeah. Best best event indoors, in my opinion. I wish they had it outdoors. That's what uh, I mentioned in the opener, just about how the popularity in this event has really just taken off. Totally. I mean, it, it, it kind of blends the distance runners with the sprinters and, you know, people on the team that you aren't working together with too often. And um, everyone's cheering together. Everyone's working towards a common goal. And, man, it's just getting faster and faster every year. The small crowd making some big noise here tonight. 9-12 on the clock. Again, 10-46, and it's going to take all of that for the Washington Huskies to be number one in the country as Oregon State, uh, excuse me, Oklahoma State's 10-47-20, currently number one, but we have a battle. There's our leader, and now second and third coming into the picture. This is going to be a great final two laps. 9-36, Washington. And BYU there with Providence, the Friars, right in between. So, Grant, this is something you didn't have in the race, anybody around you to push you. But again, would you rather be first, second, or third in this situation with 300 to go? Man, I'd really like to be second or third here. Um, you know, had a little bit of a lead from Washington here. We're into going into the Bell Lab. I mean, this is excitement right here. The whole team's cheering, and um, here we go. 10-10, again, the collegiate record, the facility record, 10-46-62. Washington a year ago, will they defend and will they be number one in the country? The battle now is for second as the Huskies getting some daylight. BYU trying to sneak around into the number two spot. Again, some heavy legs for these mile anchors, 10-35. They will be under the collegiate record. It's going to be a new number one time in the country in the women's distance medley relay. Washington breaks their own record, their official time. 10, 43, 39, and celebration on the infield. What a run, as it looks like maybe two or three teams all getting in under the old record, and that's the way it was. Providence, the Friars with a huge run, 10-44. And then BYU also as the Washington Huskies celebrating on the Oval. What a run. <laughs> Others out there, Aaron Bienenfield. Um, he ran for Cincinnati and then Oregon. Of course, Grant Fisher, we mentioned him. He is wearing number three. He is in the inside alley. And we are ready to roll 25 laps. And we're underway. Again, they will run in alleys, break at the top of the main straightaway for the rail. 25 laps for a chance at history at Boston University. The 1251-61 a year ago by Woody Kincaid as they go through the uh, first lap in just under 30 seconds, Kincaid went through 800 in 
And the uh, 1600 and 412.4. And uh, I am joined now by Sophia Goryaran from uh, Harvard. Just came off a 2 of 168, 800, and you were happy. Super happy, yeah. I'm really happy with how the race went. Just tried to go out and go, go for it. Um, I got a little behind at the end of the season, but I feel like I'm getting back to where I was at the start, so I'm really happy with it. Uh, again, I, I was talking to your dad before the race, and uh, it seemed like maybe you had some uh, health issues going on, and he wasn't certain if you'd be able to go out there and work the full 800. Yeah, definitely. I mean, last week I felt, like, terrible. Um, just everything was just down, and I didn't feel like how I usually felt. Um, my iron was not where it needs to be, to say the least. Um, but I feel like, I kind of feel like myself again, just getting back into it, so, yeah, just beyond happy with how everything went today. So, uh, as we mentioned earlier with the men's 5,000, and Sophia, I know you want to spectate as much on this as everybody else. Uh, Grant Fisher currently sitting in third. Uh, they went through uh, 600 meters in 131, so just over 30 seconds uh, per lap. You're number three now in NCAA D1. How does that sound? <laughs> That's awesome. Coming from well, last week, it was not good, so yeah. Yeah, super, super exciting. All right, so 204 through the opening 800, so they are two seconds up on Woody Kincaid's pace from a year ago. Sophia Gory Ryan uh, joining me right now. Um, uh, Alex Gibby, the, the, the newish distance coach at Harvard. Uh, I saw him down there, turn one in your ear. How has he helped your development so far here at Harvard in your first year? Yeah, it's been great working with him. He's a great coach, great person. Um, yeah, he really like devotes his time to each and every one of us. Um, and just as always, like he's like super caring, just wants everyone to do their best. So yeah, he's been awesome. All right, so 235 through a thousand meters, Sophia. Again, congratulations. Thanks for stopping up. Great seeing you again. <laughs> nice to see you too. Thank you so much. Sophia Gory around 20168 now, NCAA D1 number three, looking to grab one of those national qualifying spots. Sophia, yeah. best of luck. Thank you so much. In fifth place, like to mention, Thomas Backlund, the Nike Power Man Track Club with Massachusetts Dyes, went to Comfort Carlisle High School, took his talents to Stanford University. Shout out to his coaches for being here this evening. All right, they are through 1,200 meters. Again, those two groups, you see the front three right now. Uh, with uh, Grant Fisher tucked right in behind our pace setters. This is the marquee race, the men's 5,000 meters. We have the DMRs coming up, 1,400 meters down in 337 high. And that is Cameron Prosevich uh, out front. And then Mick Stanovsek, we saw him earlier lead some of the mile. He is back to uh, pace Grant Fisher. And then you see the distance back to the 1305 group, we'll call them. Um, as they're coming up on the mile, and boy, are they smoking it right now. Four minutes and nine seconds. It was 4.12.4 a year ago for Woody Kincaid as the chase group basically comes by just about that time. A.J. Ernst leading that group. You'll see them pop into the picture on the back straightaway. But right now it is Mick Stanovsek and Grant Fisher out in front. We'll see how deep into the race that Stanovsek can take Fisher. Obviously, Grant Fisher proved his fitness a week ago in his debut in 2024. Nine laps down. So Ernst in uh, leading the chase group, uh, or the second pack, that is Thomas Ratcliffe in the number two spot. And the rest of the field running single file. So originally uh, we heard Evan Jager was going to be doing some pace setting now. He is right now in the back of the pack. So stand up sec steps off, leaving it up to Grant Fisher. Lots of running left to go for Grant Fisher. A.J. Ernst now in the number two spot, leading that chase group. Fisher just looking solid as ever. I remember the first time I saw him uh, 
race. He was a high schooler winning two footlocker championships in cross country in San Diego. Grant Fisher, the crowd, bringing him along. 11 down, 14 remaining for Grant Fisher. Ernst and Ratcliffe with Amon Kimboy in the number three position in this group and Patrick Deaver, his Puma teammate, right behind him. Twenty four hundred meters will get the uh, midway split. So that is six thirteen at twenty four hundred. Grant Fisher has to be a very difficult task running by himself. And twenty five hundred. His coach right there at six twenty eight. So twelve fifty six pace. We'll see how he can pick it up over these final 12 and a half laps. 2,600 in the books. Grant Fisher at 644. The gap between first and second is about eight seconds. A.J. Ernst still there with Thomas Radcliffe. Ken Boy now in third in that second group. There is Fisher, Grant Fisher. Maybe if he can dial into those lonely long distance runs throughout his career, because right now it is all Grant Fisher and whatever he can get from the crowd and his coaches. It was a 12.56 pace through 2,500. Headed toward 3,000 meters. Grant Fisher, 10 laps to go at 750, 747, excuse me. 747 through 3K and eight and a half seconds back as A.J. Ernst takes a look over his inside shoulder. There is Fisher down the back straightaway. Grant Fisher, 3,200 and 818 a year ago. Woody Kincaid was 819. Kincaid closed with a blazing 26 second final lap. Does Fisher have that much speed in his legs when it comes to the final 200 meters? So he is two seconds up on the pace from a year ago when Woody Kincaid ran 12.51.61 for the American record. The crowd getting into it as Grant Fisher still working man against the clock. Mohamed in the number two spot, the Canadian, trying to bring this chase group along. They are now a full turn plus behind. Seven to go, 18 in the books. That's 3,600 meters down. The chase group, Mohamed and Thomas Radcliffe with Charles Hicks from Nike Bowerman third in that group. Grant Fisher, they're on the infield. They're along the railing, trying to bring him along. Six left. Next time by will be four kilometers. Fisher coming up on 4K. Woody Kincaid hit that in 10.23. He is going to be underneath that. 10.22, just barely. Grant Fisher still on American record pace. 
and Mohamed at 10.33. The chase group, 11 seconds back. They're looking at 13.05 Olympic qualifiers. Mohamed, Thomas Radcliffe. As now Fisher is gonna get the possibility for some lap traffic to help him along. Final half mile, Grant Fisher. There are six left in that lead group running for second in those 1305 numbers. Charles Hicks, Eamon Kemboy, Mohamed, Thomas Radcliffe. Grant Fisher, the crowd much louder than they are in numbers. Three laps to go in 11.23. Fisher on the inside, cranking it out. Lap after lap, all alone, now working through the tail end of this field. In the second group, it is Mohamed Radcliffe, Patrick Deaver, and second through fourth, coming up final quarter mile for Grant Fisher, the American record again, 12, 51, 61. It's 11, 53, he's got to close in 58 or faster. Grant Fisher looking at an American record that he said here was broken here a year ago by Woody Kincaid. He's got 300 meters remaining and 12, 14 on the clock. Grant Fisher, final lap. Kincaid closed in 26. What can Fisher do? 12, 23 on the clock. He needs a 28. Grant Fisher. Down the back straight. Final 100 meters for an American record. And move up the all-time list. Three of the top six 5K indoor times ever were set on this track. We're gonna add another one, Grant Fisher for the win. Oh, he just misses the American record. It stands and holds for another year, 12.51.84, as Grant Fisher, a solo effort. 12.51.84.